Encapsula Nanosciences presents immunoliposomes, attachment of antibodies to liposomes. Indigenous functional groups of the antibodies, such as amine and carboxyl groups, have been exploited for antibody conjugation to liposomes. Or alternatively, the antibodies can be modified to contain other reactive functional groups, such as aldehyde, maleamide, sulfhydryl, biotin or hydrazide, and then conjugated to liposomes containing suitable reactive counterpart. Type 1 immunoliposomes are generated either by conjugating antibodies directly to lipids within the lipid bilayer of liposomes in the presence or absence of PEG chains. The lipid anchor for most lipid derivatives is phosphatidylethanolamine, or PE. For example, PEG is covalently linked to PE, which anchors the polymer to the surface of a liposome. Type 2 immunoliposomes result from antibody being conjugated to the distal end of PEG chain. Several techniques have been developed for conjugation of antibodies to the surface of liposomes. In this animation, we will discuss the most widely used methodologies. Carboxylic groups on the antibody can be activated for conjugation to an amine using water-soluble carbodiamide reagents like EDC but including sulfo-NHS in the reaction mixture generates an ester derivative that couples more efficiently than does EDC alone. This reactive ester intermediate can further be conjugated to an amine containing lipids such as amine PEG PE, PE, or cap royal amine PE to form stable amide linkages. Using the same basic chemistry, the amine group on the antibody can form stable amide linkages with carboxylic groups on certain acid lipids, such as succinyl PEG PE, succinyl PE, glutaryl PE, or dodecanoyl PE. Any NHS modified lipid can be conjugated to the amine of antibody in a single step. A stable amide linkage can also be achieved with lipids modified with cyanoral chloride group including cyanoral PEG PE, cyanoral PE, and cyanoral caproilamine PE. Free sulfhydryl groups on fragmented antibody can couple to maleamide containing lipids like maleamide PEG PE, MPB PE, or MCC PE, forming a stable thioether linkage. or disulfide bridges can be reformed between the antibody fragments and the active disulfide containing lipids including PDPPE. Conjugation through modified antibody. Biotinylated PE when inserted into liposome can bind to biotin biological target avidin through non-covalent interactions. Using avidin or streptavidin as a bridging molecule, biotinylated antibody can be linked to biotinylated liposomes. Streptavidin is sometimes conjugated directly to the antibody requiring only a single binding event to link the antibody to the liposome. Free sulfhydryl groups on a whole antibody can be generated using specific reagents. Conjugation to PDP-PEG-PE produces disulfide bonds as with antibody fragments. Maleamide PE derivatives like those previously used again generate a thioether linkage with reduced antibodies. The antibody can be modified with maleamide before conjugation to PDP-PEG-PE to create a stable thioether linkage rather than a disulfide bridge. Sugar moieties present in the FC region of the antibody can be oxidized under mild conditions using periodate 
to introduce reactive aldehyde residues into the antibody. Subsequent conjugation to hydrazide containing liposome produces hydrazone linkages. Conversely, the aldehyde created on the antibody can be converted to hydrazide functionality. This hydrazide modified antibody can be further conjugated to an aldehyde containing liposome through hydrazone linkages as well. For more information on immunoliposome, please see www.immunoliposome.com. Further information about liposomes may be found at our website, www.encapsula.com. Requests for liposome formulations customized to your specifications and pricing information may be sent to info at encapsula.com. This animation may be used by researchers, professors, lectures, students, etc. for educational purposes only. No part of this animation may be used for commercial purposes, including development or proposed development of a product.